good afternoon or evening wherever you are i'm uh going live a little bit late than i normally am we are like you know we're in, in idaho for our superstar director summit and we had a lot of training today and i didn't have a chance to get away to do my live so it is a little bit, little bit late but um hopefully we'll be able to catch the recording at another time um, when it's more convenient for you Hey, Carol. Um, so one of the things I wanted to share today about what I've learned in my journey with Sensi for the past eight years, and you'll find that everything that I've learned, can I can and will and do apply to my life, and I hope that you do too, is that it doesn't matter how much other people believe in you. They can see all your potential. They can see how you know smart you are or charismatic you are, or loving you are, whatever that may be. Unless you see that in yourself, it's going to be very hard for you to truly, truly receive. Hey, Melissa. Hi, Amanda. Um, receive your true potential and receive all that is available to you. And I, I know that's easier said than done, but um, it's something that you can practice. It's something that you can, you know, find the small things that... Um, you could celebrate. And I think a lot of us, um, it's hard to believe in ourselves because one, sometimes we feel like if we were scared of believing too much in ourselves and uh, think like of disappointment, um, we tend to think, oh, if things are, if too many good things happen, then they're waiting for the ball to drop and something bad to happen. There's so many different aspects of why we tend to not believe in ourselves. And it has a lot to do with data that's been um, basically sitting back in our back of our brain from things that have happened in the past, from disappointment, um, the way somebody spoke to you, they made you feel. And we create these walls and defense mechanisms so to try to protect our hearts. And, um, which is human, which is natural. And um, we, hi Eric, hi Vito. Um, your wives are with me, <laughs> as you know. Um, we wish you guys were here. So why do we do that? Why um, we do it for our, to our own protection, which is, is, is natural. But once we recognize that, it's important to recognize it and then that's when we're able to move on and work towards not letting that stop us from moving forward. Because I think, well I know from experience in my own life that the only thing that's stopping us is ourselves. And um, we are our biggest critics, we are our biggest um, setback sometimes. We kind of kick ourselves in the foot or whatever the expression is and that's why things don't happen to um, us when even when we're thinking about it we're visualizing it because the defense mechanism um, gets blocks everything up and if something doesn't go the way we want we say we're not going to be as disappointed right but what if what if just what if we strive for that and we visualize and we imagine the possibilities. How much further would we go if we strive for that and celebrate along the way? The small little tiny things. Um, I'm sure many of you have heard, if not everybody, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time, right? So celebrating everything along the way. Um, if you are proud of yourself because you spoke to somebody that you normally wouldn't have spoken to. You, um, I remember when I started this business that I was so shy that I would literally cry when I came to these events because I felt so alone and I felt like everybody had their friends and I didn't. But what I found along the journey is that that was my fault because I closed myself off and I assumed that people didn't want to get to know me because of fear, because of past situations. And so once I started, I recognized that, I challenged myself, just like I'm challenging myself today um, for this challenge to come on every day and share something that I've learned. Um, once I challenged myself to say, hey, this may be the hardest thing I do today, but if I do it and I, and I get through it and I don't fall apart, there's something I can celebrate, whether I get a huge result from it or not. And one of those things I did, one of my very first events with 
um, because I used to have anxiety. I still sometimes do. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I haven't changed completely as a human being, but um, I'm just able to handle it better. But I get anxiety sometimes around a lot of people that I don't know. And so I challenged myself to walk up to somebody that I knew I've met before, even though my brain, my old data would tell me, oh, you're not a memorable person, Jess. They're not going to remember you. Why would they remember you? And you're just going to feel like embarrassed because they don't know you, right? And so I challenged myself. There was somebody that I wanted, I, I adored. I thought she was amazing. Um, personally, professionally, everything. And I challenged myself to go and say hello to her. And guess what happened? She said hello back and she even knew my name. And that was so, such a breakthrough for me, an aha moment of, you know what, Jess, you were telling yourself that you're not memorable. You were telling yourself that you didn't have anything to offer. Nobody else was, and you were hurting yourself. And so in conclusion, I wanted to share is that, um, when we stop ourselves from taking the actions to move forward, the only person we're hurting is ourselves. And we did an amazing tribute to two superstar directors that have passed on um, in this mortal life and wonderful, strong, powerful women that have influenced so many people. Um, one of them, I, I, t I had some time to get to know, of, but one of them, I didn't. I saw them on every incentive trip, on every leadership retreat. I saw them a lot, reunions. And because of my own little data from the, from the back of my mind that I've always had, telling myself that there's no reason why I can make friends with a new person or that they'll want to make friends with me. Remember I shared you guys, I used to think I wasn't worthy of being, uh, having new friends. Um, I missed out on knowing an amazing person, amazing human being, a person that has been so such a good influence and friend and mentor and whatever you want to call, I mean, all of the, all of the above to so many people, my Sensi sisters and brothers that are here and they had amazing things to say, but I didn't have anything to say because I stopped myself from getting to know her because I was intimidated by her. And I know she knows now because she's up there in heaven looking down on us that I now am ch I now am not going to let myself miss out on knowing amazing people that I'm surrounded by just because of my own fears because I am not going to let myself regret another relationship that I could build. And so because of her um her name was Kay Diggins, I in honor of her, I'm going to make sure that I don't miss out on any um relationship opportunities. So I've been all through the last week um here at Summit, I've been walking myself up to people that I don't know personally, never met um, directly, and shaking their hand and do, introducing myself and letting them know that I think they're amazing. And even if I don't know if they're amazing, that I want to get to know them because I'm sure they are amazing. So I hope that you take this advice or think about it. Maybe you've been through this before. Maybe you're going through this. Maybe you have no idea how anybody can feel this way. But now you know that some people that are in a certain position, a lot of you are Sensi consultants, so you've seen me on stage in front of 7,000 people, but even somebody that can share in front of 7,000 people can still have a part of their, um, a part of them that gets intimidated and scared and still is that, um, you know, young girl that was rejected at one point. And so we can move forward, we can um, strive to aim high, but sometimes we'll get knocked back down and we'll revert back to those old ways, but we always have a chance to get back up. So I hope that this was helpful in some way. And let me see, I'm seeing that I'm getting some, it's actually showing me now, it says, you are so special how people can, not, oh my goodness, thank you so much. Terry, you're so sweet. Don't believe those lies, please. Um, you have so much to share. Offer to so many people. Send you a big hug. Oh, I'm I'm hugging you right from here. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Um, you're intimidated by a lot of people. I need to do what you're doing. Yes, Megan, please do challenge yourself because you never want to miss out on what are we all here for? Is for 
each other, right? About relationships, family. Um, we have an extended family with Sensi. We may not be born into the people, they're not like our biological family members, but um, your church people, your neighbors, your Sensi family, if you're part of Sensi, um, we have all of this opportunity to not be in this life alone, to not have the burdens that life takes on, that we take on alone because we have other people and you could be that person for someone else one day. Um, so think about what I missed out on because of my own itty bitty icky committee that, um, you know, I told myself that I wasn't somebody that she needed to be in. I didn't need to be in her life. She had enough friends, whatever. That's my fault. And she knows how much I regret that. And that's why I wanted to share with you guys today. So believe in yourself because here's the thing, no matter how much I believe in you, your people, your family, your friends, if we don't believe in ourselves, we're never going to reach our fullest potential. So, and even if we fall along the way, we always have an opportunity to get back up and learn from our mistakes, take another path, learn that we tripped. Why did we trip? Why did that bump get in the road? Is there a way that we can get around it? All right, have a sensational day. We're about to have dinner and some s'mores on the um, right on the beach. And um, I love you all. Bye.